Hello, I'm Karen Algersma in Victoria's Inner Harbour, checking out the new exhibit at the Bateman Centre. And you're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. On today's show, Dan Kahn's talking food trucks. And we'll tell you everything you need to know for this year's Dene en Blanc. All that and much more on Go Island. I roved into the Bateman Gallery here today because we are celebrating a brand new exhibit that just opened up and it is a documentation of one of the greatest adventures that Robert Bateman has ever embarked on in his entire career, which is a big deal because Bateman's had a big career. But this one really tells the story of two men seeing and experiencing things that no one has seen and experienced before quite like it. Tell us a little bit about this exhibit. Well, they were uh, 25 and 27 at the time, and they had a brand new Land Rover, a specially made Land Rover, and they traveled from Great Britain all the way to Australia and back to Canada. And who did Bateman travel with? He traveled with Bristol Foster, who was his childhood friend in the Naturalist Club. Give me some examples of some of the things people can experience when they walk through here and, and take it all in. Well, they're, they're going to see the whole chronology of the trip. They're going to see parts of Africa through the eyes of Bob and Bristol. And Bob Bateman was drawing and painting his way through. Bristol was taking photographs and videos. All of the photographs and the videos are in the exhibition, as well as a lot of Bob's drawings. So they'll be able to see the whole trip through their eyes. Why is this something that everybody should take the time to see? Well, I think it's a very important story, not only about the beginning of uh, Bateman's career as an artist, and I think this is probably one of the more seminal moments, but it's also a great look back at, at civilization at the time and how it's changed, because we compare the, the, the current situation in those countries versus the way it was at the time, and these are all mostly colonial countries yeah. that changed. Well, we're going to walk around and take a look at some of the, the bits in just a moment, but first, food trucks. We love them, and they are um, finally invading Victoria in a big way, and Dan Kahn decided to hit the streets to talk to you about food trucks. Here's what you're gonna do. On Thursday night, don't make dinner. No, go to Sir James Douglas School. All the food carts are going to be there. They will make dinner for you. It's a fundraiser for the school. It's also an opportunity to see all the food trucks that are gonna be involved in Rock the Shores 2015. How fun is that? Well, it's almost as fun as coming here to the Bateman Center to see the new exhibit that's here where uh, Robert Bateman and his best friend went out and had the adventure of a lifetime. The food's going to be a lot better than what they were eating. Every night they would open a can of Spam. Anybody remember Spam? Sadly, and yes. And, they and we're not talking it. about the, the, the email junk that you get in your inbox. No, this is edible, yucky stuff. Yes. And that's what they had Speaking for dinner. Of trucks, yeah. Is that what they had for dinner, really? That's every night, yeah. Because Spam does keep forever. <laughs> Amazing. So at least they were never dinner, which I'm sure they could have been if they weren't careful. Right. Um, tell us a little bit about what, what's here. Well, this is the exhibit from uh, West, uh, Eastern Africa, uh, and uh, the panel we put together on their visit to the Serengeti and Gorogoro, Amboseli, and Savo, which are the big game, big central game parks in Africa and Kenya and Tanzania. And what you've got here is, for, in the center, is one of Bob's drawings, and you're going to see these drawings through the whole exhibition uh, that he did as he went along in his sketchbook, and he got better and better and better as this trip went on, and he's been doing sketchbooks ever since. This is just extraordinary. And this was Christmas, 1957. That's right. Yep. What a way to spend Christmas. Uh, such a rich, layered exhibit. It's on until the 30th of September. Um, also, the Land Rover is, gonna, is getting all fixed up, the original Rover. And on uh, Car Free Day, it's going to be part of that day down on Douglas That's Street. Right. Yes, it'll be part of the celebrations. And on June 25th, Victoria is going to be a sea of white. That's right. Denae en Blanc is back. Now, this is one of the most visually stunning events I have ever ever attended and if you want to be a part of this year then lean in and listen up if you want to be part of this year's Diné en Blanc go to the website Diné en Blanc Victoria and register 
it's a lot of work but so worth it. I am telling you this event is extraordinary and this year they're expecting more people than ever. I just love this event. I will be there, so um, hope to see you there. I also hope to see you here at the Bateman Center because this exhibit, it actually makes me want to go on an adventure, doesn't it? Doesn't it? it yes, does. it's so exciting what they did. It's kind of every boy's dream. It, it tore every girl's dream because they, Robert Bateman, who we all know and love, and his best friend, Bristol Foster, who um, was a big part of the Royal BC Museum for years, had this dream of uh, traveling across the world, seeing things, nature and animals and wildlife and documenting it and it's all here for you to be part of. Tell us a little bit about what's in this room here. Well this room is the introductory part of the exhibit so it shows the route they took across the world, uh, all the countries they went through. It tells the story about them getting their Land Rover and getting it uh, custom made for them. They actually watched it being built in the Land Rover factory and Bristol Foster was trained on how to do the repairs because of course they were going through a rough country and they could break axles which they did. Um, and he was able to do all the repairs. It's, it's just crazy. And one of the things that has made this exhibit so fun is you can, op you can look at the journals and, and what they wrote. You can see the images of some of the things they did. Like even just looking at that one with Canada written on the back. I mean, isn't that just amazing? What's been for you putting this exhibit together and being part of it? What, what's your favorite part of the whole thing? Oh, I think it's their own stories of the trip. Yeah. And, and the naiveness of, of them as young men that, that at the time, sailing off in these countries that were going through revolutions that had uh, a big change going on, and they, there they were looking for uh, specimens and photographing birds and wildlife. It's really kind of a fun story. It is. It's almost like one of those, it's fact, but it could be fiction. We have to take a very short break, but when we come back, we are meeting with the hitman himself, David Foster. Rover Boys, it's the brand new exhibit right here at the Bateman Center. There's so much to see when you come here, like blowgun darts, that's right, poisonous darts. This is the real deal. Bateman actually brought this back uh, from his trip. So many cool things to, to look at, to read, to see. Um, we have to take a very short break, but please stay with us when we come back. Dan Kahn, the virgin gardener, has more gardening tips. Summer is just around the corner, and that means a few things. It means all those relatives, friends, and family come to visit you, and you need to find really cool things for them to do that you will also enjoy. Mm. So you need to come to the Bateman Center. There's so much going on. And it also means that your kids are out, or your grandkids, or your nieces and nephew, and they have July and August to fill their days, and this is an extraordinary place to come. Amy, tell us what's happening at the Bateman Center, sort of the, the, the whole picture. We've always got special activities going, and I encourage anyone to go to our website, BatemanCenter.org and you'll see everything that's happening but this summer as we do in summers we give um, free admission to all kids so Yay. yeah it's a really fun place for kids to come and explore the gallery we've got over 116 pieces of Bateman's work in addition to the special Rover Boys adventure story um, and there's a lot for them to do little I spy activities and coloring activities and lots of digital um, storytelling so we welcome families and adults and I know that I've taken visitors from out of town here, and people just love Bateman. And I think it's, it, it's not only because he is world renowned, but the images and the feeling that he captures really is all what we love on the West Coast. Nature and, and, and all that that means. And especially with this exhibit that's happening right now, the Rover Boys, what a great place to bring your visitors. It is. And you know, the number one word that we hear over and over again is inspiring. People are inspired by yes. nature. They're inspired by his talent. And they feel as if they've had exposure to nature just by coming here in the gallery. Um, but of course, it is in the Inner Harbor. So you can go downstairs and have lunch outside uh, at the steamship, uh, is it the steamship cafe? Steamship grill. grill. The yep. steamship grill. That is, the, it's the coolest place. Hyper local food. 
best view in Victoria. Fabulous patio. I'm telling you. So come out um, and spend a day out here. It is well worth it. We will see you next time on Go Island. Women's clothing provided by Tulip Noir. Casual designer fashions. Men's wardrobe by DG Bremner & Co. Menswear and accessories. Hair services provided by Salon J. Let's go.